Hello my soccer universe, the Euro 2024 final between Spain and England is upon us and I've always been planning to do a From the Collection video with the jerseys from my collection of these two finalists and then it turns out I have six jerseys of each of these so I decided let's make two videos, release them at the same time and have fun with it a little bit this here, despite me wearing the Spain jersey, is of course the England video. If you want to see the Spain video, there's the link up here. Now, when we're talking about England, I also have to give you a little bit my relationship with England, which is a really weird one. Absolutely. When I started watching at the 1990 World Cup, England were quite good and I actually did like uh, them, especially Gary Lineker kind of stood out a little bit. However, when you get a little bit more in, especially in the 90s, you know, you had these great playing sides from Italy, from Spain and so on, and then England, it always seemed so rough and so insular in a way. And it never sat well with me, for instance, the Premier League, even at that time, was billed as the best, uh, most exciting league in the world, which it just wasn't. And this insularity paired with the not so nice behavior of the English fans at major tournaments never really made me like England all that much on the pitch. Strictly speaking about soccer slash football. Because on the other side, most of my favorite bands that I'm listening to, and I'm a huge music lover, were from England. First and foremost, Queen an essentially English band that I listened my entire youth almost exclusively. But when it came to football, I never really liked England, especially in the late 90s and in the 2000s. But I did like some England jerseys and I always felt, you know, an England jersey should be in my collection. I remember I really liked the one for the 2002 World Cup. That was a great home jersey. I really liked the ones for the 2004 Euros, even the 2006 World Cup. Yeah, that was cool. I had the honor of experiencing English fans in Cologne when England played Sweden. I watched the game there in front of the cathedral and I quickly banded with some Swedish fans there because the England fans were just misbehaving again. And I always found this a pity because the few times I was in London, I had always a great time. And whenever I met English people in person, not intoxicated or watching a football match, I had a great time with them. In addition, my favorite bands are all from England. So it was always, why don't I have an England jersey? Yeah, because um, I like them a little bit more than Germany, but then not that much more as well. There were always other teams that I did support more. However, during the 2018 World Cup, it was final time. This was an England team I could get behind. Gareth Southgate breathed in a fresh breath of air into the squad. I like that he was doing things a different way. Do you remember the corner routines where they were all lining up behind each other? I actually really liked that. In addition, they had a really nice jersey. I really remember having the preview booklet for the uh, Euros there and there was England in their new jersey. I thought this looks actually really, really, really nice. Well, needless to say. There was this local sports store where whenever a team gets eliminated, 50% off. Of course, I went out after they lost to Croatia in the semifinal. I got this jersey. They had it only as an L, which is maybe the one regret. It still fits quite nicely, but it's a really nice England shirt. Finally, finally, after I would say 20 years of me thinking that you should have an England shirt in your collection, I finally had an England shirt in my collection. And I have to say, this is a pretty fine one, a really nice one. I loved it, especially the way the red here kind of vanishes, the crest really well done, the silver star. It is simple, but I also like, you know, St. George's flag and then the connection. It's an absolutely stunningly beautiful, simple, but beautiful England shirt. And I was really pleased to finally add one to my collection. If you rewatch my videos from the 2018 World Cup, whenever England was playing and I say something, I donned a Queen jersey, just to give you an idea. And now the floodgates opened. I also needed an England away jersey. And you know, that was the time when I then finally realized, yes, Wilhelm is a really great place to find stuff. And in Austria, there's a big affinity for English soccer. Something that never got to me, but to many of my friends. And so you find, of course, on Wilhelm many England shirts. The first one I found, I thought this is kind of quintessential, was this away jersey from the 2010 World Cup, quintessentially England. I love the retro design. This is of course tailored by Umbro. It really actually fits nicely. And you can see the way they cut this is really like a dress shirt in a way. 
but I love the simplicity of it. That is just red with the white sleeve cuffs, similar to the one that they won the World Cup in. And you know, there is a star there in red. And why England are you hiding your star meanwhile? I don't know, that's something I never quite understood. But you know, it is there, but it's very simple, but it's very beautiful as well. So really pleased with the shirt. I know I pick it up directly from someone here in Linz, 10 euros. Couldn't be more pleased with that one. Now for the past Euros, it quickly became apparent. Yes, I have two England jerseys, which is kind of the minimum that I need to have. But on the other side, I would need another one, especially since England was really looking like they're going to have a deep run, which they did have. And there has always been one, if not two shirts, that I had my eyes on. And finally one popped for a really reasonable price. Yes, it has some blemishes, but this is probably from Nike, my favorite England shirt, even more than this one which is the very first one, the 150 year anniversary one. Yes, I get it. It looks like a USA jersey in a way, but it is so beautifully done. I'm not sure if there were red numbers with that one because that would be the most, just the logo here was worth it. The golden outline and the golden star, absolutely beautiful. And it's very similar to the one that they're wearing now and also similar to the one that they're wearing at the last Euros. It's a blank and yes, it has some blemishes, you know, there are some pulls that you can probably make out, which justify, I think I paid 15 euros for that. But that makes it also a very easy go-to shirt for videos and to wear on a more regular basis, more than the others that I have. I gotta say, I was tempted by the blue England shirt that they had for the last euros. I was also tempted, but I didn't pull the trigger because I saw it's kind of really not so nice looking. At least the product, not the shirt. The shirt would have looked good. The uh, Avenger is from 2012, the kind of black one with the light blue that also looked nice. So yeah, I was thought I need that one. However, then I think it was two years ago, I found real steals from a collector here who was selling on Wilhelm. And part of it was, and I wanna say I paid 20 or did I pay only 10? I think I paid only 10 for that one. The 2006 England home jersey. And that was one, while not classic looking, I always liked that there's the St. George's cross here on the side. This was always a, a fine one. I think I got from that guy, yes, it was 10 euros. I bought the Manchester United away jersey from the mid 2000s. I bought an Arsenal away jersey from 2008 and I bought the PSG Louis Vuitton jersey. That was all in the same packaging, great jerseys. I have to note that the three lions here look a little bit odd to be honest and i always think that the lions faces could look better on either of these jerseys but you know who looks at the lion so closely maybe there is a redo possible but i really love this shirt uh it is very much of its time but you know it also has the st george's cross here on the back there's a lot of pattern going but umbro did a really good job with the jerseys for that world cup and yeah 2006 2006 but I was still on a hunt for a bluish England shirt or blackish or whatsoever. And while I thought it will be the 2012 that I'll be getting, or maybe I have to do the one from 2020, 21, I actually found one that I liked even more, but I never thought that I will find on Will Hartman. I think it was also 25 euros or something like that. It's this third jersey they released in 2017 so just ahead of that world cup and i think it was only worn in a friendly against germany and yes the sun is fully coming coming in so you see the shine on the three lions there i actually thought this was really smart i remember when this one was released i thought this looks really 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 nice now when i saw it now again i felt that the shoulders look a little bit odd you know the dark and then the blue here but overall it's a really nice jersey i also like that um three lions here in light blue and then you have the star you see it actually as well so that was also nice and yeah i think it was a real smart england shirt i like this better i mean the england jerseys for euro 2016 were not bad but this one is better than either of these and so with this collection behind me i went into these euros and i thought i'm fine i don't need another one but it was the generosity of a subscriber that i have a sixth jersey and i'm still odd that this did happen but even more odd that it's actually a current jersey no not the one they will wear in the final but it's a really really nice one this away jersey upon release i immediately liked it yes it's an off color it's an absolute off color and yes it is similar to the one 
that I have here from 2017, but it's a little bit more purpley. I think they call it raisin. So it's kind of halfway between the red and the blue. In any case, I absolutely love that the three lines here in golden and yes, they're within the shield and you still have the star kind of hidden. But if you look at it from a far distance, it's just the three lines. I think it makes for a great, very understated look. And of course, best of all are the side panels that add some color. This is so well done. This is such a beautiful shirt. I gotta say, shame that we will not see that the Euros, but hey, they might do a good qualifying campaign for the next World Cup in that one. And maybe, maybe, no, not maybe. I want to say they win the Nations League in that one, but then League B with Austria. There you go. So here's my England collection. Three home jerseys, three away jerseys. So much more balanced than my Spanish collection. We have four home jerseys, two away jerseys, which is not good, I have to say. So I need to balance that out a little bit. But it's curious that I have six jerseys of each of the two teams. Please let me know what you think about my England collection. How do you like these jerseys? And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!